Hello, I'm going to be showing you how to make your own fish TV. It's fairly simple, we're just going to be making a custom tank and putting it inside of one of those old blocky TVs, and then adding, of course, some RGB, because why not? So, let's get down to it. So, I found this cutting-edge technology out by my local dumpster, and let's make some use of it. Now, what we have here is a mini TV from around 2003 that has about a 19 inch wide screen and before they finally died out a VHS player built into it. Let's crack open. Such skill. <laughs> And hey, surprise, surprise, the thing still works. Probably should have figured that out before I took it apart, huh? I used a piece of wood to hold the tank in place where I needed it to, and to also leave myself room for wiring. Now, because the front screen is normally 19 inches wide, we're going to be going with a 20 inch wide front panel to help sell the illusion of a completely filled in TV. With the power switch and the IR sensor facing outward, that's pretty much all you need to worry about with wiring. Everything else can be hidden underneath the tank, and as long as your tank is waterproof, which considering you're putting water in it, hopefully it is, uh, everything should be just fine. With about 20 bucks worth of supplies from your local hardware store, you too can jerry-rig a fish tank. You'll need some good old non-tempered glass, don't want anything to shatter, a glass cutter, which probably be included if you purchase if you pull out the puppy dog eyes. And some sealants, that way, you know, the glass stays together. With the LED strip up and over in a U pattern, it should fully light up the screen. Now, with a 20 inch front panel and some 7 inch side panels, we can fully maximize our space within the tank. This will form a trapezoid like shape, which looks a bit odd but it's so that we avoid the rear mounting points. Yeah, there's a simple latch that I made using some coat hanger and a bit of hot glued on quarters. That way it'll still stay on top when it needs to, but I can easily take it off when I need to get access. This hatch is cut from the top of the case. When I say cut, it looks more like a bear took a bite out of it. Speaking of making cuts, here's one of the two that I took out of the otherwise unseen mounting points. They work well to help airflow and free up space. It appears I'm having trouble screwing this in and operating a camera at the same time. Alas, another career option crossed off the list. This is the peak of my editing skills. I think it's actually burning my eyes. Now just treat it like a normal tank with adding whatever the fish needs and you should be fine. I added some scenery and a temperature regulator to make it more suitable to my needs, but you should ask your local aquatic store to see what's right for your creature. This tank will be used for a beta fish named Sparky. He's called Sparky because my projects have a tendency to uh, ignite. Let's hope with the water being built in this time, we can do without any fire. This has been my project on how I made my fish TV. If anyone actually watches this, makes their own, I'd love to see them. Be sure to put them in the link in your comment down below. Or just tell me about your attempts and how it most likely caught on fire because I'm a terrible teacher. By the way, this video is not a full tutorial on how to make a custom tank. If you want that, go see someone, go watch someone who is more experienced in it than I. I've only done it once and you can see my result is still a bit janky. I wish you the best of luck.